Yes, Alola is a destination that everybody wants to visit. I mean, just to add, highlight all the <laughs> things on Alola, you know, we had the Dolce and Gabbana, you know, show happen there. We had uh, wow. Alicia Key, I mean, uh, Lyo Ritchie happening there. It's a very high end, uh, classy, wonderful weekend, star glazing, relaxing atmosphere. I mean, it's, it's just a different feeling when you go to Alola. It's wonderful. Cruises. So people are actually paying attention also. They're talking about beach destination, cruises. Yeah, I mean, Alula beach destination. Is, uh... Yeah, Alula is in the middle of the uh, centerpiece of Saudi. So there's no beach around it. Uh, but they have wonderful, uh -huh. wonderful hotels that is coming up, uh, you know, to, to really, because we're having a lot of volume of people that want to go there and we don't have the keys. So we're building a lot of new fantastic beautiful ex, ex, fully experienced hotel there uh, for the beach you know definitely you have Jada. you know Jada is on the red sea uh, if people like like diving or you know or exploring the, the sea they have beautiful beautiful uh, you know in the seas there clear crystal clear you know uh, beautiful beach there so um i am going to take up a few questions right now uh, something that people have asked uh, on a regular basis. Uh, visa is already talked about, and uh, I have another question in a similar one that says, uh, can you talk about the visa for Asian Africa region, uh, Nigeria and African? Um, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, Nigerian visa, African country, yeah. tourist visa information. Yeah, so mainly, you, you know. Just give a little bit of highlight about that. Go ahead. Yeah, the visa, I mean, mainly the visa is you know, as as we're hopefully getting out of the pandemic, this this virus really has really slowed down things for for us in Saudi to to open up. So we're looking at you know how we're able to ex explore the visa uh, for different countries. You know, opening up slowly. Uh, we're gonna be starting hopefully soon because Saudi is is going to be one of the destinations in the region. You know, I mean, in the region here, I won't highlight the GCC because in, in, we are part of the GCC and it's the closest destination in terms of Africa and, you know, Asia and Europe. You know, these are very close proximity uh, destinations to Saudi Arabia. You know, in terms of visa, definitely we will be looking at ways to really open up the, the visa and trying to simplify the visa process for everybody to be able to, you know, get a, a touristic visa. And definitely, Excellent. it's either through the VFS or the embassy. Mm -hmm. And online, hopefully, okay. is the next process, is the next step. All right. On the law, Ahmed wants to know, and I think a couple of other people have also asked whether we can uh, share some PDF of the presentation that they can share with the internal staff. I will send you the PDF. Maybe you can share with everybody. He, um, we have a shorter version that can be uh, shared with everyone. I think uh, that will be perfect. Um, another uh, question is, another common one, Vinay wants to know, what is the best time uh, to visit Saudi? Saudi, I mean, like every country around the world, you have their seasons. Saudi is from October till March, where everything is happening. You know, the Riyadh season, the Jada season, the Alula season, there's a lot of entertainment happening all over the, the, this time, you know, and not to forget, you know, when we start with the, the seasons again from October, coming in November, there's a lot of entertainment happening, you know, with the FIFA World Cup happening, you know, we're going to be building a lot of excitement around that area in close proximity to, to Qatar, where people can explore, uh, going to watching the football and, you know, crossing the borders, to 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 the other entertainment areas like Al Asir and Mam, we're gonna be creating a lot of things there. So keep an eye on that, please. A lot of things happening there. Mm -hmm. um, so and and as I said, you know, uh, Saudi is going through a, a direction of where there's be, going to be creating a lot of activities all throughout the year. There's a lot of things mm -hmm. in Saudi to explore. You know. Uh, you know, every country, a lot of countries are, you know, the, the season differs in terms of the heat, but there's a lot of things to do still, you know. But for us as a season, the best times would be like from October to, to March. And as I said, we're extending the summer seasons to have a lot of activities during the uh, April, May, June, you know, onwards. Okay, okay. 
Nabil, another question that I have is um, from Rafael. Uh, he says, do tour operators have packages for visitors of Mexico guided in Spanish or English to sell in Mexico? So basically, do we have package and tour operators who can speak yes. Spanish? Uh, so, so, yeah, so mainly uh, we, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, support uh, in terms of the uh, local DMCs in Saudi. Uh, we have, we have a lot of international visitors from around the world that came in into Saudi. And there is always a way that, you know, if we're having people from a different country that wants to come in, we can support them as the Saudi tourism to make sure they, they get what's needed in terms of uh, the tour guides, in terms of, uh, you know, what they need to see in terms of, uh, you know, supporting them to make sure that their visit is fully, uh, you know, uh, fully supported. So yes, we can we can do that. Okay, um, Vicky, Atik, Satish, Ahmed, uh, you've raised your hands. In case um, you want to speak a question, uh, I am giving you an access to uh, speak up your question. You can unmute yourself and ask the question directly also. Meanwhile, um, another question that I have received is um, regarding, can you help us getting FIFA tickets? FIFA um, is there, John, I think. So FIFA tickets would be with the uh, FIFA tickets? No, we, we're not involved in, in that. You know, it has to be with the Qatar, uh, the, the uh, exactly. Qatar, uh, you know, uh, through the Qatar, all the uh, resellers. You need to connect every every country has a reseller which you, we need to connect with or you have to go through the online and uh you know register to buy your ticket uh and you'll get an email then you can buy your ticket so it's not through us we are supporting so, in the um, other, yeah absolutely uh atik uh, you want to ask you now hi swati hi nabil hi atik hello hi i need to know is there any you are allowed for a tourist space to visit tourist to visit makkah and medina city anything you have any options of that if they want to visit yes so mainly uh, we are as i said we are developing the whole thing of a visa uh, the makkah medina idea you know uh, there is ways also i mean where if you have a tourist visa to saudi and you're uh, you are eligible to visit Makkah Medina. You are able to do that before or after. You know, you can go to Saudi with a visit visa. Uh, you can explore Saudi Arabia and, and do Makkah Medina, or you do Makkah Medina and explore Saudi Arabia with the touristic visa. If you're you, eligible to visit, to, yeah. what is el eligible means? What if you are if we are Muslims, is we allowed to visit Rome in Makkah and Medina? Sorry, you got disconnected. So, uh, mm -hmm. Basically, I think wants to know uh, what is the eligibility criteria to visit Makkah Medina uh, because you mean that uh, if you're eligible, then you can visit. In terms of spiritual religion. You mean okay. Uh, I think that's confirmed. Yeah. That's, yeah. Thanks, Ati. Um, mm. I have another question for Abdul Malik. Abdul wants to know, previously there have been restrictions in some malls in Jeddah if for a bachelor and they were not allowed. Um, are, are those restrictions still in place? Oh, no. So, 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 so before, yes, uh, things have changed and the mall are open for everybody to, to visit okay. as a tourist. It's a touristic, normal I think touristic that's destination. A yeah, definitely. That's a good news. I have another question from Khaled, uh, an interesting one it says, uh, people who have Shen, uh, Shen visa, can they enter KSA upon arrival? Do you have visa on arrival for Shen holders? Yeah, we used to have the uh, the visa on arrival if you are Schengen or uh, the, 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 the South, the US visa on your passport. But now the, the, unarri the arrival is closed. You need to uh, get a visa before arriving, either through the e-visa, online visit Saudi or through VFS or the Saudi Embassy. Okay. Uh, and also, 
uh, MQuest wants to know if for US visa holders, visa on arrival is still on. And again, uh, they're talking about especially for Indian nationals, uh, if they have to travel by Saudi or any other airlines. Um, are there any further requirements for that? Yeah, I mean, uh, through, as I said, visa on arrival is not there yet. Uh, due to the you know the whole pandemic, the COVID and all that. Uh, overall thing, okay. Yes, overall. So you need to get the visa with you because before getting that, you need to register through the Mukim application. Uh, you know to get the you know all this information fill in uh, before you get there. So it has to be a visa before arriving. I mean, this might change, okay. you know. Uh, so hopefully, this would. We're looking at hopefully to change all that. But it all depends on what's happening in terms of the, you know, pandemic and the COVID and all that. Okay. Uh, Nabil, another one is from Sankar. He wants to know minimum how many days are required to cover Riyadh, Jeddah and Alula. Destination is for uh, high-end clients. Or... Uh, so so with, with the whole season thing, I mean, in, in Saudi... In Riyadh by itself, we had 14 different zones to cover. And the boulevard, you need maybe two, three days to really go around it as, because it's huge, you know. Uh, I, I guess seven days, you know, to, to really cover if you just want to see and go through or you want to explore, it, it differs, you know. Uh, Riyadh, you need a lot of time. Alula, you need maybe two, two days. Uh, and Jada maybe you know uh, another two days, so you can say a week plus. Okay. Um, next question is from Muhammad uh, Hamdi. Muhammad, uh, you are on. You're allowed to talk. You can raise your question. You can talk your question um, and ask Nabil directly. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Muhammad Hamdi from Rush Aviation. Um, hello. Uh, hello. I'm just wanna to ask about two points. First point, uh, Jeddah season. Yeah, from long time I hear uh, about Jeddah season, but still, uh, I have no information when it will be start. If there this year there is start, it will be start again Jeddah season or no, and when exactly it will be start. Yeah, I need more information about Jeddah season. Yes. Uh, second question, I need to, move, uh, to know also more information about online touristic visa. I heard only about the online touristic visa. <clears throat> there is exemption countries uh, is not allowed to make it. There is some procedures. I, I don't know exactly. It's open, but still not open. Start this service or still not start. I need also to know more information about the online touristic visa. And thank you. Any questions in Mango Nabil uh, for you? Please go ahead. So, so, so with the visa, again, you know, there is an online where you go to visit Saudi. Uh, there are some nationalities that can get the visa online. They just need to apply, upload the documents, and you'll get the visa within uh, the, the same time uh, you apply for it. Uh, other, this, other countries, uh, you need to apply for the visa through the VFS. And some countries, you have to go to the Saudi embassy. You know, you need to get an invitation and all those procedures. Uh, we are looking at, you know, uh, simplifying uh, the process, you know, to, 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 because we, we want to open up uh, Saudi as a touristic destination. So we are looking at the process to really simplify the processes for everyone to be able to get a visa. Uh, Riyadh, uh, sorry, uh, Jada season, we're looking at Jada season to start in the summer. Because Jada, as you know, is in the beach, is the coolest, is a cool, de cooler destination a bit, uh, and hopefully it should start by uh, April, April, May, uh, the Jada season. That works. I think uh, that answers all the questions, uh, Mohammed Hamdi. Um, Satish, uh, if you're online, you can mute yourself and ask a question, and then go to Ahmad Mohammed. Meanwhile, um, I have a question from I mean, the person's name is not visible, so I'm just going to ask a question. Uh, they're asking about Saudi cruise and how they can book Saudi cruise. I mean, with the uh, cruises, I mean, you have uh, specific, uh, you know, agencies uh, that have agreements with the, with the cruises uh, in, in the region. And everything is booked through most of them. 
so you need to search and see which agency have the uh, the agreements to book those uh, clients in, uh, which is very easy to, to find. Uh, if I'm not, one of them is uh, in Dubai, uh, Sharaf. I think they are most of most of their experience is in the cruises, and they hand, uh, handle that. Okay. Um, now, important question coming from Kuli. He wants to know a uh, visa for a single lady traveling, and are there any restrictions on single women traveling uh, to Saudi? There's no restrictions. Uh, we had a lot of, I mean, a lot of. A lot of people traveling to Saudi, single ladies for business or leisure. They go and exploring from different part of the world. There's no restrictions at all. That is perfect. Um, okay. Um, so I'm to seek more questions. Uh, everyone, in case uh, you want to ask your question verbally, Nihal, uh, Nihal, you want to uh, interact and ask your question to Nabil? Please go ahead. Yes, 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 sure. Uh, can I? Please go ahead, Nihal. We're here with you. Thank well, you. my question is uh, regarding a particular sect called Shia sect. As uh, there was a news that uh, 63 Shia uh, uh, persons were executed before yesterday. So how safe it is to visit Saudi for Shia sects? I, I mean, this is a, I, I cannot comment on that, you know, uh, uh, this has to go only by whatever you read, you know, from the governmental uh, port, ports, you know. Uh, Nehal, it'll be a little difficult to answer uh, questions that are a little politically influenced. Uh, it'll be best to wait and see and get the news from the media or you can just uh, write down a question, probably we'll find out some answers as the time progresses. Uh, accordingly, we'll be able to answer it better. Um, moving on to more questions. Um, okay, I have somebody who wants to support. Hari says we want, we need a GSA who helps us collect our payments directly from Saudi customers. Hari, I think uh, TBO can help you with that. And uh, please do write uh, a mail to packages at tbo.com. Uh, I think we should be able to assist you in, in a certain way with uh, finding a GSA over here. And uh, another com question coming from Rafael Rodolfo. Or do we have flights from Dubai to Saudi? Yes, indeed, I'm sure. Right, Nabil? Yes, definitely. I mean, you have a lot of uh, Emirates, fly Dubai, uh, Saudi, uh, um, another question, a uh, very small question. I don't think there are a lot many. Um, it says, do you have restaurants open for tourists during the month of Ramadan? Yes, I mean, there are. I mean, of course, you know, uh, when it's Ramadan, there is, they might be a bit of, uh, you know, uh, how do I say, uh, a bit of restrictions maybe, but there are restaurants open uh, all over Saudi. And this would be the first in terms of the, you know, uh, exploring Saudi during Ramadan for, for, for a, a, as a visit. But yes, definitely, it's changing. I mean, guys, Saudi is changing. Uh, it's going into a, an open destination as a touristic destination. Uh, so the, so you're not able to go into that direction without really uh, changing and developing the country, you know, and opening up a bit. Uh, so there's a lot happening in Saudi, you know, in terms of uh, as being a touristic destination. Okay. Um, okay, there are questions about uh, VAT refunds, some other questions. I'll, I think I can collect a couple of these questions and send it to you, Nabil, and we can uh, create a document which we can circulate with the people. Can we do that? Yep, we can do that. Perfect, perfect. Um, all right, so guys, I think that is it. Uh, these are the more major questions that we had for today. Um, we still have a question open for you on the link that I shared. I would like to know how interested you are and how likely are you to sell Saudi as a leisure tourism destination. The question is on the link that I've shared with you. I have very few responses, guys, I need to know. How do you rate Saudi Arabia from leisure tourism perspective? I'm sharing the link once again uh, so that all of you can answer. 
Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, any closing uh, statements, anything that you would like to tell about, anything that you'd like to invite or anything? Oh, definitely. Uh, Last definitely. words from you. I mean, from my side, you know, I've been visiting Saudi from 2003. Uh, so I have seen uh, the difference of being a corporate client going to Saudi, just doing uh, your business and leaving. And now, you know, going to, I've been to Saudi in the past six months, maybe six times, you know, going with clients, uh, exploring the destination. It's really a different destination than it was, you know, in terms of the vibe, the destination, the entertainment, the activities that's there. Uh, and there's a lot coming, you know, uh, and there's a lot happening in Saudi. And, and for the future, you will see a lot of new uh, activities, a lot of, you know, uh, in terms of hotels will be opening up. Uh, and Saudi, you know, is a, is a big destination. You know? you know, there's a lot happening. I mean, just keep an eye on and you'll see every time there's a lot of new things popping up. Uh, you know, and we were getting there as a as a as a Saudi. It's got it, it is a touristic destination. I can tell you. Thank you. You're on mute. Sorry, I think uh, Swati. Okay, I can hear guys. I can get, say that now. Um, with the videos that I've seen, Nabil, I'm really looking forward to visiting Saudi myself. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are looking for a fan trip, of course. Um, I'm sure uh, we will be announcing it uh, very soon. So guys, stay with us. Uh, we will soon be launching a detailed specialist program for Saudi Arabia that you can read, watch, uh, view the pictures, download a picture gallery, uh, you know, share the videos with your customers and inspire them to travel to Saudi Arabia. I'm looking forward to it myself. Nabil, thank you so much for getting in today. Um, it's thank been you a very much. Thank you for asking. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure I'm to sure really highlight Saudi Arabia to everybody. You know, I, I could not maybe answer more of the questions, but if you are able to write in to to to, to Swati and the team, you know, uh, you know, connect with me. Uh, I mean, we can. We're here to support everybody. You know, we shouldn't leave any doubt uh, in terms of how to reach to Saudi or how to get things done. You know, timing, support, all that. I mean, we're here as the Saudi Tourism, you know, authority to support you from A to Z. I mean, wherever you are. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nabil. Thank you, everyone, all of our beautiful audience for joining in from all over the world. Uh, we're looking, we look forward to having you uh, on TU. Uh, you will find a lot of packages and ITs where you can, uh, which you can sell to your customers. I'll try and compile a PDF that we can share with all of you, which you can uh, share with your staff and some pictures that you can share with your clients. Thank you so much. With that, we take your leave. Um, and uh, we have 54% people giving a 10 rating as of now, and just 25 people who have given a rating to Saudi Arabia for two guys. We have over almost 300 people on.